Hi, Coach Selo. How is going? Hi. Very nice to Hi. see you here. Nice to see you here. Nice to see um, everyone. Here. I am Coach Selo, Selo Maduma. I'm from South Africa. I was, I've been fencing for about 20 years now. Um, coaching last four years. I coached in Bangladesh. I coached a little bit in in Botswana as an invited coach there. I coached in Angola. So I've been coaching for the last um, yeah four years. I did my coaching certificate at the FIE school in Senegal in 2016, and in 2017 I did another one in in Budapest for for EPE. And I'm, I'm very happy to be to be to be here tonight again and to share some little bit of exercises with you. Um, the exercise I've prepared today is, is not main footwork, it is pre preparatory footwork. It, it, it is the stuff you do just to get the legs working. It looks like footwork, but it's, it's just mainly for, for preparation. And at the end of the, before we finish the exercise, we will add just one more thing that we will play around with with the footwork and we will use an effort. And if you have a foil, you can use a foil, but I will be using an effort. And I hope everyone will enjoy the preparatory footwork exercises. I think maybe some people know the exercises, but in any case, fencing will do the same things all, all the time. So can we, everyone ready to start? Yes, please, go ahead. Okay. Thank you very much for your explanation about yourself. You are it. Uh, I think I'm. Can you see? Everyone can see, right? Excellent. Great. Cool. You can see. I'm just going to look at it like this. Good. Cool. So before we start, um, because I'm the first one coming here, so let's let's start by stretching from head and to move to the legs. So. We, we, we first start with the, with the head. Okay, and then other side. Okay, now down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six. Shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Behind, like that. Change. Okay. Now, now we can, if everyone is ready, now we can start the, the first exercise. So there will be five, I, I will be using numbers. The first number will be for, when I say one, one is for from an on that position, one will be just tapping with the, with the feet. Use your toes and land softly on your heels. And try when you move, do not move your body. From the same place and maintain your balance. When I say two, this is number one is tapping. Number two, from the same position, but now you tap. One. Next as possible, you must relax your shoulders. Then we'll go to three. Three is from the same position, but now with high knees. So three. Also try to maintain your body balance as much as possible. Okay. Then number four will be opening and closing it. 
So it will be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Also, when you do this one, try to keep your upper body in the same place. So you don't go one, two, three, four. It's always on the same place. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Then we go to number five. Number five is my, it was one of my favorites because the kids love to do it. All their friends and students love to do it because it's a small, kids love, love jumping around. So this is much more fun for them. So from, when I say five, from this position, just go up. Then you land down. Tap, tap, tap five. Then you land down. Okay. And try to jump from, try to kick with the front leg forward with the back leg to the side. So try to move like that and then land again on the same place. Then the last one, when we finish the exercise, will be number six. Number six will be lunge, relax, stretch, and sit on the back leg. And then you go to lunge again. Then you come back on guard. So when I say six, but six we will do right at the end. For now, we will do one, which is tapping, two, toes, three, high knees, four, opening and closing. Then five is when we jump up. So when I give an instruction and I say one, everyone does the tapping. Ready? Get your legs ready. On guard. On guard. One. Two. One. Three, one, four, faster, one. When you do this exercise, you do it and then you take breaks. So you can do for about one minute and a half. Try to do all these exercises and take breaks in between. You can mix it, you can mix them up as the coach as you want. So it can be one from one, you go to five, go to three, go to two. It teaches you how to firstly to remember what you are. To remember what you are doing and to also be able to adjust from one exercise to the next without, without breaking all the rhythm. So try to maintain the body balance and make sure that you remember what to do. So you need to memorize, train your memory, which means you also have to focus, which is very important when you're fencing because when you're teaching a large group, Sometimes some of the kids tend to zone out. So you want to keep everyone in focus throughout the warm-up period. Because as much as footwork is important in fencing, it is also one of the boring things if you run a, a little bit of fun elements into it. So to keep everyone interested and focused throughout the period, make sure that you add these smaller um, preparatory exercises. Sometimes you can add a tennis ball to play around with while they are busy doing that. So 
we will, um, I think everyone has caught their breath. We will try and do it again for about a minute. Okay, ready? One. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Two. Three. I need make sure you go high. One. Remember to keep your body straight. Don't go up and down. Body straight, focus, breathe. Most important thing is to breathe. Do not forget to breathe. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Faster. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. Let's go as fast as you can. Make sure you're sitting nice and low. It should start to bend. One. Five, up. Stretch your legs, kick it out. Make sure you keep moving. One more thing that I try and discourage is in the class after taking exercises for someone to just sit down. It does not help them with, with anything. So you need to keep moving. I normally just pass them a tennis ball so they can just kick it around or a, a little ball. So that is very important. Now, exercise number six, the one that I said we will do at the end. So exercise number six is a lunge. For this exercise, because it's group of preparatory exercises, we are not focusing on the movement on the, of the arm. So there's no need to extend first. Plus, it's um, extension of the arm is different from point save and to edge. So we will not focus on the extension of the arm. Just make sure you, you lunge properly. You see it. My arm is automatic. It's always stretching first. So push. Make sure you push the hip. Little bounce. Sit on the back leg. Push to the front again. Ah, okay. Back leg. You can touch your toe, get some stretching in, and go back. So with this sort of exercise, I always want sensors to do it on the left and on the right hand side. So we'll repeat the same thing with the opposite leg. I started with my left leg, so now we'll go to the right leg. Lunge. Lunge. Okay, push the hip. Make sure you keep moving and bouncing a little bit. Sit back. Back to your front leg. And when you're switching, don't 
sit and then change like this. Try to maintain your balance. So from here, go back here, and then as much as you can, maintain the balance and go back to your lunge position. Like that. And you can come back up. So this exercise, we, we did it. We did the, the, the preparatory footwork for two sets. In practice, depending on, much, on, on how much time you have, at least a minimum spend at least um, 10 minutes on the exercise. You can just play around with it. And now, this is my final part of the presentation or exercises. It's the epi. With the epi, I will just get closer to demonstrate to you. We will use fingers to balance the epi. So it will be We'll start with the index finger. Balance it, balance it there. And from there, we'll transfer it to the middle finger. We'll transfer it to the ring finger, small finger, and lastly, to the, to the thumb. But the trick of transferring it is you will not be using your, your opposite hand. You will just have to make sure that you I'm not sure if I can do it from here, let's see, like that, and use it like that, and transfer it like that. So you just keep moving it, but without holding it with the other hand. So just try to move it, use your fingers, maintain the balance, and until the last one. From the, from the pinky finger, you can still transfer it to your thumb. Your thumb is a bit tricky, because you need to use the the tip of your thumb. It's, it's quite easy. It's, it looks difficult, but it's, it's easy. So you can do that at the and then at the very end, use your palm. The strange thing about the palm is that it looks like it will be the easiest of them all, but I find it to be a little bit tricky. So if everyone is ready with their FS and foils, let's try to do this one, the balancing of the FS. So you don't have to be on guard. For now, you can just be relaxed as possible. I, I'm not sure if you can see from here. And to maintain balance of the effort, sometimes you will move around, but try to limit your movement to a very short, um, very small space. All right, if everyone is ready, go. So when I say change, you will change. For now, just index finger. Index finger, index finger. Middle finger. It's actually quite easy when you are on your on your on guard position. Ring finger. There we go. Ring finger, ring finger, ring finger. Everyone has it. You can play around with it. Balance it. Pinky finger, small finger. There we go. There we go. Thumb, change to the thumb. Balancing it to the thumb there. Eh? to the palm of your hand, palm of your hand. Okay, so that is what we do with the balancing. Now, let's take, as we are wrapping, wrapping up, we are now going to take the first exercises, or which is a little bit of footwork, and add this balancing of the epi, and just see if you, if, if you can manage it. Okay, ready? Balance your epi on the, on the index finger. And one, tap. Two. Three.
Oh. This must be fun. Has anyone broken anything yet? <coughs> and you can stop. So that is um, my exercises for today. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Um, I hope no one broke anything at the house because we will be in trouble tomorrow. But yeah, thank you for coming and I hope you had fun. Coach thank Selo. you very much, Coach Selo. It was great exercises. Thanks for joining us at this time. I know uh, you yeah. know, now in South Africa is 2.30 a.m. It's a pleasure. Uh, you're welcome. Take care. Okay.